Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see how to find the start date and the finish date for this entire project. Now, so far in the previous lecture, we understood how to find this total quantity and we know how to do it now. Now coming to the start and the finish date. So here there will be changes since we are taking for the entire project. So coming to the earthwork. So earthwork, we are going to start on 1st August and we are going to finish it on 31st August. So that remains the same. Like you are going to start it on 1st August and you're going to finish it on 31st August. There won't be any changes here. Again, coming to the PCC work. Again, your PCC is going to be started on 5th of August and it's going to get over on 26th September. The same whatever you have in S1 schedule, 5th August and 26th September, 52 days, whatever you can see it here. The same thing you're going to enter it here, right? Now come into the reinforcement work. So in the reinforcement, what will happen since we have taken it for the entire project, whatever the days we had put it here, right? 9th August to 28th September. Now this will not work out because this was for the substructure activity. But here in the bulk, what we had done, we are taking it for the entire project that is substructure and the superstructure has been clubbed together and taken as a single unit. So that is the reason you can see the start date here as 9th August. So that will remain the same. Whatever for the reinforcement, you have a start date. I'll make it of a different color. Yeah, you can see 9th August here. So that will be the start date here. So that is why you can see 9th August here as well. Yeah. Now coming to the end date, that is a finish date. For the finish date, what we need to do, this is not the finish date. We have to go down and see where is the, when is the last time the reinforcement, is, the reinforcement work is happening in the site. So since this is a finishing activity, you don't get any reinforcement work here. Coming to this, that is uh, lift machine room over a tank staircase headroom portion. You can see a reinforcement work being done here, right? So the last day of completion of that work is on 30 August 2022. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to input this value. That is, you can see a 30 August. Either what you have to do, just click on uh, delete it is equal to sign. Come back to the S1 schedule and click on this that is reinforcement 30 august and press the enter button so automatically the 30 august is going to come here coming to the shuttering work right now you got an idea how these things have to be worked out again for the shuttering work what we need to do come go to the top when you're going to start the shuttering shuttering will be starting on 11th august so that is the reason you can see here shuttering 11th august now coming to the end date of that so end date of the shuttering will be not this one you have to go down and see when is the last time that you're going to do the shuttering. So the last time the shuttering will be done for this particular level, that is LMR or overhead tank. And here the end date is 28 August, right? So that is a reason you can see 20. Yeah, you can see 28 August 2022 is a finished date. Now similarly come to the concreting work. Again in the concreting work, what is going to happen? We are going to start the concreting work on 13th August. That is all good. Coming to the end date of that, again, you have to come to the SHR level, come to the reinforcement. It is 31st August. So go back to this. So you can see the concreting here, you know, 31st August is the end date and 13 August, you're going to start it. Now coming to the masonry work. So when your masonry work will be started, come to the S1 schedule. Now all these things are done. Come to the masonry work. Your masonry work is going to be started on 1st of December. You can see here 1st December. So that is the reason you can see here. 1st December written here, right? 1st December and coming to the end date when the end date will be. So you have to see this is for the ground floor. We are starting first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, everywhere you are going to do the mass and river. Even in the terrace portion, you are going to do the mass and river. So after that, it is a external finishing work. So you don't have any mass and work here. That means in the terrace portion, you need to see the mass and work and under the mass and work, go to the finish date. So in the finished date, you can see 4th of October 2022, you are going to finish your masonry work, right? So that is the reason you can see here 4th October 2022 date has been put up here, right? Coming to the ceiling plastering, it's again the same logic. Ceiling plastering, we are going to start on which day? We are going to start on 17 December. The same is inputted here, 17 December. End date is written 7th October. We'll try to cross verify this. Ceiling plastering end date will be 7th October. So 7th October ceiling plastering in the sense. Yeah, so you can see the ceiling plastering written here and the end date is 7th October. So the same is matching there. Similarly for the wall plastering, external plastering, flooring and tiling work, the same uh, logic, whatever I've told you that will hold good and try to do it here, right? 
so once these things are done the duration is also going to change now because 30 and 52 these two things will match with the s1 schedule because you are getting the same thing right so you are getting 30 and 52 as same duration but after that for the reinforcement work and all these things will change because this entire thing what what i'm what what you can see here 386 382 380 this is for the entire duration of the project so the simple way to calculate this is is equal to sign 30 august minus start date so how much you are getting 386 day similarly try to do it for all the things right in this way you are going to get like how long you are going to do the ceiling plastering work how long your shuttering work will be done so 382 comes out to be one year complete one year your shuttering work will be there till the finish of the project so in this way you need to carry out all these things right so we have understood up to the start the finish how to prepare this duration for the entire uh, i mean for the entire bulk materials fine in the next lecture we'll try to understand how these quantities have to be worked out and how this asking rate per day for the project has to be worked out right and then after that we'll try to understand how these quantities has to be taken care of right i hope uh, this is understood up to here we'll see you back you in the next lecture thank you